Hello my fellow YouTubers, it is me once again, the Prince T. As you can see me right here, I'm back again. So, today I'm just going to react to one video today because, well, I had, um, I had been busy with some other stuff, you know, but, um, you know, more videos are still coming every day, every day I'm still posting every new video. So I will just do, I will do, I will continue to do my work. I will continue to do it just to, to entertain you all so that you can see me, what I do, everything, you know. It's always great, it's, go, it's always nice to see some more reaction videos. So, today, right now, I'm going to react to my first death battle match you know i have seen many many death battle match by screw attack but this is today this will be my first reaction on this channel this will be the first reaction ever so there's another match of two hot blondines i have seen two hot blondines fighting each other which is which were sonia blade versus kami right now this is the second match of two new blondines with super strength the hot android blonde girl from Dragon Ball and then we have this hot captain from from uh, from Marvel Captain Marvel or Miss Marvel this will be a hell of a fight this would be a hell of a fight you know I hope that things would turn out great because you know when I see between these two fighters I think, I think, the way Screw Attack will do the research and everything, I think that Captain Marvel is going to win this match. I think so. I think that Captain Marvel will win this match. I don't. I, I, this is this is who who I think because Dragon Ball characters for me, I always, I always cherish, I always want every. Dragon Ball characters to win because Dragon Ball this is my thing I love Dragon Ball Z you know and I want all the Dragon Ball characters to win all the time I mean I mean there is a lot of uh, many there's, there's plenty of uh, Dragon Ball characters who I think that they deserve to win Vegeta has already won Goku has not won against Superman you know the research the research that Screw Attack did you know the debate will still go on and go on, go on and go on, go on because Goku has not reached his full potential. But Go uh, Superman, you know, Superman, like I said, he has a lot of he has many writers. And soon, who knows? Maybe when he will be Supreme uh, uh, Superman. Right now, you know, Gold Superman, Prime Superman. I don't know what the name is, but I think that on that time he is a complete god. You know, do he? No kryptonite will hurt him. No, nothing can hurt him anymore. You know, so I don't know. So um, this, this, this is why we have uh, uh, how things is. So I think I think that Captain Marvel is going to take this match, you know. But I will cherish for Android 18. I want Android 18 to whoop Captain Marvel's butt because. I love Android 18. I love Lazuli. Lazuli, she's uh, she's a, an incredible fighter, and she's also the strongest woman. If we see all women characters in the in the Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball, everything, then Android 18 is the strongest woman. We we have to admit it. She's the strongest woman. She's stronger than Chi Chi. Way far far stronger than Chi Chi. Chi Chi. After Dragon Ball, she like stopped fighting. I mean, she did completely stop fighting. She 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 trained she trained Goten a little bit, you know, in the in the beginning of uh, Dragon Ball Z the, of Buu Saga. She trained Go Goten. So, um, Angel Angel Eighteen, she's like the strongest. She she's the strongest. But um, you know, Akira Toriyama, he needs to 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 put more women on the spotlight in the Dragon Ball. But you know. We know Akira Toriyama, sometimes he forgets his characters like Lounge, you know. We don't know how Lounge would have been if she was still in the series, if she would have been as strong as, you know, being, being a, a, an important Zed fighter, you know, so that that's how it is. So basically, I think my heart wants Angel 80 to win, but 
based on this on the strength that Captain Marvel possess the power and the capacity that uh, and uh, Captain Marvel possess I think I think that Captain Marvel is going to win this uh, I, 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 this is this is what I think this is what I truly think but um, so I don't know what more I should say but let's just dive in like I said all the Z, uh, all the Dragon Ball characters I cherish all the uh, Dragon Ball characters. I always want all the tra uh, Dragon Ball characters to win, except for Yamcha. You know, we know Yamcha. If he was about to fight someone, we know what things would have end up for him. So we we we, we kind of know who Yamcha is. What things will happen to him if he fights? <laughs> so, without any further ado, let's get it pumping it's time for a death battle sloths pizza chaos this is battle sloths 2025 the great pizza wars the all-new twin stick shooter from rooster teeth games customize your sloth with over a thousand unlockable hats then step into the arena and battle for pizza and glory Four game modes, 20 different weapons, a variety of maps, sloth pole dancing? Battle Sloths has something for everybody. Available now on Steam for PC, Mac, and Linux. Just click the link in the description below and make sure you choose the boomstick hat. And I wanted also to say that Captain Marvel, we know that she has almost the same strength as a Wonder Woman, so I think that she will, she will beat 18, but I hope that 18, yeah. Woo! 18, 18, 18! A death battle! 18! In the age 763, peace had returned to the Earth. Mm. Unsung heroes, led by the Super Saiyan Goku, had saved the world from an evil galactic tyrant. Everything yeah. seemed pretty hunky-dory, and then a mysterious time traveler showed up out of nowhere with a grave warning. In just three years' time, two deadly androids would rise up and ravage the Earth, all while wearing the mark of the long-forgotten Red Ribbon Army. This Red is Ribbon. complicated real fast. To be brief, the Red Ribbon Army was the greatest military force ever known, even greater than the Earth's entire armed forces combined. Until a tiny monkey child named Goku strolled through and wrecked their shit. Dr. Jiro, founder and lead scientist of the Red Ribbon Army, held a grudge against Goku for over 20 years. Like any mad scientist hellbent on revenge, the good doctor got back to doing what he did best. Building murder bugs! And so he designed some of his deadliest creations to date. Android 17 and Android 18. Yeah. Though Android isn't entirely accurate. Yeah. 17 and 18 were actually humans once. Yeah. Siblings even. So that makes them cyborgs, not androids. You'd think a doctor with Jerome's prestige would know the difference. I'll just chalk it up to yeah, the classic that, that was, revenge madness. That was super. That man. happens to the best of us. Android 18's real name is Lazuli, which sounds like some sort of Italian pasta dish. No wonder she kept the name 18 after brutally murdering her maker. Yeah, Android 18 and her brother were pretty unruly and a force to be reckoned with. Jiro, even with his own cyborg body, didn't stand a chance. With nothing better to do, the twins set off to ravage the world as predicted. But this time, something changed. After witnessing the and she's the only one who, she's the only woman who bit Vegeta's ass also. 18 had a change of heart and joined the good guys. She even wound up starting a family with Krillin. Nice, give it up for Krillin. Yeah. but he's laying pipe above it as well. Plus, 18 doesn't really age, so that's a serious win. Android 18 is an extremely competitive fighter with numerous deadly abilities. Jerome's programming stems from decades of military dominance. 
granting her incredible hand-to-hand -hand combat skills and mechanically enhanced senses for superb situational awareness. And she's got the strength to back it up. This chick can embed a person straight into the side of a cliff with a single smack or shoot explosions out of her hands. She does this by harnessing Ki, a Taoist-inspired life force energy manifested through a person's spirit and vigor. With her Ki, 18 can fire a barrage of energy beams powerful enough to destroy buildings, continents, possibly even planets. Like the finger beam! <laughs> Talk about getting finger blasted, am I right? No. Oh, you know you left. Absolutely not. On the inside? Ugh. Android 18 has dozens of other techniques, such as infinity bullets. I know what you're thinking, but it's not a magic gun with unlimited ammo. It's a stampede of energy blasts, which are nearly impossible to avoid. Her photon strike lays waste to a vast area in an instant. She can even use her husband's signature technique, the Destructo Disc. It's a buzzsaw made of pure energy. Why don't more Dragon Ball characters use that thing? He is just as much a defensive tool as well. One and thing that I don't understand, in the Boo Saga, was she was uh, 18, oh, yeah. and she isn't fly. she, I Unlike mean... most warriors, 18's energy supply stems from a sort of battery within. This system grants her a continuous and potentially endless supply of heat. She'll never get tuckered out. In fact, one of her favorite combat strategies is wasting time to make her enemy exhausted, then moving in to finish him off. So, so that means that uh, she isn't completely human after after the cell saga. Her foe's energy for herself by absorbing it through her body, increasing her power and nullifying her opponent. So you can bet she'll always go the distance, like Rocky Balboa, except you know, way stronger and way prettier. Eighteen is tough enough to deflect Goku's Kamehameha attack even while he's in Super Saiyan Blue form. Also, she can kick hard enough to break Super Saiyan Vegeta's arm. What's so impressive about breaking an arm? You broke yours once just by falling out of your chair. Uh-huh. You might have missed the Super Saiyan part there. Vegeta's extremely high key levels improve his body to support an impressive amount of weight. Leading up to the fight, Vegeta was training in 450 times gravity, making his weight about 55,000 pounds. That means the tibia in his leg would be supporting over 40,000 pounds, the equivalent of eight pickup trucks. Damn, I wish I had bones like that. Yeah. I fire so many bazookas and never have to worry about falling down. Yeah. On top of that, she's able to use her constant supply of key to easily match the speed of a Super Saiyan. We've previously established that an ascended Super Saiyan can fly approximately 340,000 miles per hour. Hmm. So it's reasonable to believe 18 can do the same. Man, this key stuff is seriously awesome. Maybe I should start meditating or something. Do you even know how? Yeah, to yeah all I gotta do is get drunk and sit on the floor crisscross applesauce style, right? Easy. Sure. Anyway, just like Vegeta, Android 18's key allows her to survive serious blows. She's even tanked the full brunt of a Super Saiyan key blast, capable of obliterating an entire building without a scratch. Can't say the same for that sweet ass jacket. Man, 18 is awesome. Awesome? Yes. Unstoppable? Not at all. Android 18 is unfortunately susceptible to a number of weaknesses, including her own programming. Fearing her unruliness, Jiro designed her with a remote shutdown system in place, one that both he and Krillin's friend Bulma were able to exploit. Wow, so this little thing will stop them, huh? On top of that, 18 has a reputation of being cold and apathetic. Although, this is mostly just a guise, as she's always ready to defend her friends and family from threats. She even joined Goku, the man she was originally programmed to kill, for an interdimensional tournament bent on saving the universe from annihilation. And it's safe to say that Super Saiyans are not the only blondes protecting the planet. <laughs> Believe me, yeah. when she gets that look in her eye, you better hold on to your Dragon Balls. Oh, yeah. I know I'm being hard on you, but it's the only way you'll learn. Captain Marvel has had many names in her career, but when she was born, she was simply Carol, Carol Danvers. Danvers yeah. Carol grew up in Boston and joined the Air Force to pay for college. She quickly flew to the top of their 5'11. Goddamn, she's tall. And she joined NASA.
Okay, not taller than me. Okay, I'm just I'm just one inch is taller than her. I'm not tall either. Carol got caught in the middle of a massive battle between the Kree aliens and a Kree superhero named Marvel, known to the world as Captain Marvel. Well, wait. Captain Marvel's secret identity is Marvel. Somebody forgot to read superheroes for dummies. Anyway, during the battle, Carol got stuck in a machine called the Psych Magnetron, which exploded. Luckily for her, this was one of those explosions that turns you into a superhero. The energy from the blast merged Carol's DNA with strands of Marvel's. She developed an extra Kree brain lobe and gained most of Marvel's powers, transforming her into a new dynamic superhero. Yeah, that that, she didn't even that power she has. She just black out at random times and wake up to hear about a new suspiciously blonde superhero. Hey, Wiz, maybe I have a superhero side like this. I, I mean, don't know if she's I the same strength the as Supergirl. Boomstick, you don't have powers. You have a problem. Throughout yeah. her adventures, mm -hmm. Carol went through several phases of superhero titles. First Miss Marvel, then Binary, then Warbird, then Miss Marvel again, until one day, Marvel died. Hmm. Here's to you, Marvel. To honor her fallen friend, Carol Danvers took up his mantle, becoming the brand new Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is unbelievably powerful, with superhuman strength and incredible durability. She learned how to fly planes in the Air Force, but now she can fly herself and super fast. Speaking of which, through her time with the Air Force and as a member of the Avengers, she's received years of quality combat training. Not only can she hit hard, she can fire powerful concussive blasts of photon and stellar light energy from her hands, as well as create energy fields. As if all that weren't enough, Carol can open up an extra can of whoop-ass by absorbing energy. Absorbing anything from electricity to magic can make her even stronger. With these powers, Captain Marvel has done some pretty amazing things. While training with the Avengers, the combat simulation measured that she could deliver a force of 92 tons. Almost 10 times the destructive power of a Davy Crockett nuclear missile. She can survive energy blasts to the face and even the vacuum of space for a long period of time. Once she flew from Broadway to the end of the atmosphere in only a minute and 58 seconds. That's a lot of ground, uh, sky She even defeated Hulk and Vision. She claims that's her personal record. Now, considering the distance between a New York City street and the exosphere, Marvel must have been flying 247 times faster than the speed of sound. Carol has taken out characters like Vision, punched Iron Man out of his armor, and even survived two point-blank blasts from the Destructor's beam, which has enough power to punch holes through an Imperial Kree starship. And that's not even the height of her power. If Marvel absorbs enough energy, she can access the powers of Binary, a form she took after losing her powers, getting lost in space, and being experimented on by aliens. Long story. As binary, she can tap into the power of a white hole and generate star levels of energy. And her hair's on fire! Oh my god. Are you even listening? That's like the least interesting thing about it. Says you? Look at it. Binary was an extremely powerful form, capable of wiping out entire fleets of enemy ships. But one that Captain Marvel does not have easy access to. She initially lost the form after expending all of its energy and is unable to reach it again without absorbing a massive amount of interstellar energy, Nova. such as the infinite energy from a gravitational field of a black hole singularity. She's too stubborn to just give up, though. She's stubborn to a fault, even rushing headlong into situations while ignoring advice from wiser, more experienced friends. Like hmm. the time she started a civil war between superheroes, or when she completely ignored her damaging addiction to alcohol. Get your... No, no. All right, the combatant 
hands are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, it's time for some scrumptious blue apron. Another publicity. I'm a man who likes a good home cooked meal. But going out to buy or hunt my own food is a hassle. If only there was some way food could be brought straight to me. Introducing Blue Apron, the number one fresh food delivery service in the country. Using only the freshest ingredients, Blue Apron delivers a kit of ready to cook meals straight to your door along with easy to follow instructions. Plus, the ingredients are perfectly proportioned, so it cuts down on waste. And you know you're using oh, the right I need some more vegetables. That, you can log into their website and select the upcoming meals that sound good to you. Like the spice zucchini enchiladas with creamy lime and tomato rice. Plus, it feels rewarding cooking new and exciting meals right in your own home. Looks so good. Just take our word for it. We want you to try it. Because you're watching Death Battle, you can get three meals free with free shipping by heading to blueapron.com forward slash battle. You will love how good it feels and tastes to create incredible home-cooked meals with Blue Apron. So don't wait. That's blueapron.com slash battle. But right now, it's time for a Death Battle! Death Battle! Right. To have blondies. 18. The animation looks good. Get back! This orb is coming with me. Give me a break, lady. I've been looking for that thing all day. Come on, eighteen, come on. Oh. Yeah, oh. Based on the technique. Based on the technique. Get up, get up, day team. Screw, screw attack. Captain Marvel may have been one of the Avengers' mightiest warriors, but she couldn't stand up to the impressive power, speed, and expertise of Android 18. First off, the numbers don't lie. When it comes to speed, Carol's best record put her in just under 200,000 miles per hour. But 18 could move over 100,000 miles faster. Most apparent of all, Marvel's durability and strength feet simply pale in comparison to 18's. The only way Marvel's power could match 18's was to absorb enough energy to reach her binary form. But 18 is no stranger to that technique. There's no doubt she recognized what Carol was doing and stopped feeding her energy. 
Even if Carol had somehow achieved the full force of binary, that wouldn't have guaranteed a win. I mean, the last time we saw binary in the comics, she was taken down by some alien guns. Yes, she's not as good at absorbing energy as she thought. With superior speed, strength, tactics, and endurance, Android 18 simply wore Captain Marvel down until it was time to go in for the kill. And that's why Captain Marvel lost by T.K.O. God, that one was awful. The winner is Android 18. That's great, that's great, that's great. Hey, don't go away, we're about to reveal the matchup for the next episode. Alright, I'm going to see it, uh, who, who will be the next fighter. So, um, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to see 18 win this, this match, but... You know, like I said in the be beginning, I want 18 to win, but something's telling me that Marvel was going to get it, but I'm just happy that 18, I'm always cherished to all my characters, I mean, my Dragon Ball characters, you know, so all the Dragon Ball characters, I always put them in the first spot, that they are going to win, they are going to win, except for Yamcha, even Captain, even Mr. Satan come before Yamcha, I mean, Yamcha, man, you know. You need to step it up, my man. So that 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 was it, you know. I really enjoyed it. I really liked it, and um, this was the result that I wanted, and this is what I got. Screw Attack, they make such a good research on each character, so I can't keep up with the astronomy and all this stuff, you know. I wish that I was good at astronomy. Even though I am, I am assumed to be a teacher, but astronomy is not my good thing, but I still like it, I still like different planets and stuff like that, but unfortunately there's more, there's more to know about astronomy. So, thank you very much for seeing my reaction, make sure to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment down below, and, uh, and I'll, see you, I'll see you another time, alright? Take care. Peace.